Okay, there's another skill that uh, you're going to need to be able to do the analysis in this lab. For the first method of finding the resonance, you're going to plot two curves and look for where they intersect. Actually, you'll take the curves and fit a straight line to, to each one and then determine where those lines cross. So you need to know how to plot two curves in Logger Pro and to get the curve fit for both of them. Now, there is a handout that came with the, uh, uh, the lab on how to do this, plotting multiple curves with Logger Pro. It's got the basic ideas there and you can use it, but I think uh, an example will be a little bit uh, more useful. Now, if you don't have Logger Pro on your home computer, you can get it. It's free. It's a, it comes with being a student at New Pulse. And so um, you just go to the, get the URL from the syllabus. Um, the syllabus is in, in the handouts folder on Blackboard, either the, the old version or the new version. There's a link there for Windows. There's another link for Mac. It's a free download. You just install it like anything, uh, and you will have Logger Pro on your home computer. Okay, so let me show you uh, an example, though, of using it to, to plot multiple curves with Logger Pro. Um, to get set up, I'm going to share my screen, and... I'll get myself out of the way here. I can just watch what's going on here. Here's my screen. Put that away. Okay, so I've actually I've set up a logger profile already with some data in it, just so you'll it'll, to save some time and be familiar. There are two columns of data here. You know how to do this. I've got frequency in one column, and I've plotted that on the horizontal. I've got V sub L, the voltage of the induction coil, and the other, and I've just typed in some fake data here. Um, what I want to do then is I want to put a, another column in and um, then plot both of those. And the way to do that is to go in up here to the data pull down and new manual column. Now you could also do new calculated column, not for this experiment, but I just want you to know. Uh, calculated column is kind of like what Microsoft Excel can do, where you can take the data in one column and calculate something else from it. Uh, a really useful example is that if you have data in milliamps, you could convert it to amps in another column and use that for graphing. We're not going to use that today. We're going to use manual column, which means you're going to type in the numbers, and when I click that, it lets me name the column. I'll call it, uh, let's see, capacitor voltage. And the unit V sub C, some people use an underscore to as a hint that it should be a subscript. And the units will be voltage. And I've created a new column. It's that easy. Now you can see the column here. But what you maybe don't see is that it's, uh, it's actually off to the side of the others. There's, we now have, they don't fit, so I've got a slider here. And to make them all fit, it's, it's really easy. I'm going to click on the graph and grab on over here and make it smaller. I'll click on the table, grab on here, and spread it out. And see, I've got my three columns. And so, and I can put this back. So now all I have to do is type in my data. And I've got some more fake or simulated data here. And I'm just going to get this in real quick. And you'll notice that it's not showing up on the screen because the graph plots just the first two columns. And what I'll need to do is tell it to graph them both. Okay, there, we've got two columns of data. This one only graphs one. It's very easy. You just go and click on the y-axis, and it says, what should we plot? The inductor voltage, the capacitor voltage, or all of the above? And you get them both. Easy. And you can see, well, there's going to be a line. They're going to intersect somewhere over here, so that's going to be the resonant frequency in, in this simulated data, at least. So the next step will be to do a curve fit. And we, what we can do is highlight. Uh, I, I could fit to all of this, but I, I, you're going to want a subset. So you want to highlight the data that you want to use. How about we just use that and keep those guys out? 
and then I can do a linear fit. There's a button up here, a shortcut for linear fit. Or you can go to Analyze, Linear Fit, and it asks, which one of these two do you want? So I will fit to the first column, the inductor column. Boom. Got my graph, got my straight line. And I can move this out of the way. And then I can also do linear fit to the second column of data. Boom. Got my, move that out of the way. And now I've got the equation for a straight line for both of these data sets. And I can use that to solve for the coordinates of the intersection and find very, very precisely, or more precisely, the um, uh, intersection point, the frequency of intersection, and that's the resonant frequency. Now for the second method, you're going to plot the voltage of the driving source, and when it goes down to a minimum, when the, uh, that's the resonance, when, when, the, when the, the driving oscillator doesn't have to push so hard to get the same effect uh, for the resonance, that's it. And what you'll do there is you'll, you'll plot your graph and you'll fit to a curve fit, use a quadratic, a parabola, and then use calculus from those fit parameters to find the minimum of the parabola. Okay, so this should, I, I hope, comes in uh, very handy to uh, make, make your data analysis work.